So before talking about the next biasing circuit, the, the improved version of the resistor divider, uh, we're going to do the accurate analysis of the resistor divider circuit that I promised to you. So this is the circuit that we want to analyze. And the assumption is that this current IP is not negligible now. And we need to know how to analyze the circuit when IP is not too small. So the idea is that we're going to assume we're going to consider the circuit inside this dashed box and we're going to draw the equivalent, the Thevenin equivalent circuit uh, of, of the of inside this box, right? So we know that for Thevenin equivalent, we need the V Thevenin and R Thevenin. For V Thevenin, what we do normally is that we do the open test. So if I assume that um, at this point, the output of the circuit is open, then I know that the V this V open circuit is going to look like that my circuit is going to look like this. So my V Thevenin is going to be equal to R2 over R1 plus R2 times VCC. And then my R Thevenin, well, again, I'm going to basically, I have a lot of ways to do it. One way is, was that we, we turn off all the voltage sources, so VCC becomes ground. So the R1 is actually connected to ground. And then that means that R1, and then I'm going to basically look into equivalent resistance from the output. So I'm going to have R1 and R2 in parallel. So the R Thevenin is going to look like this. So R1 and R2 are in parallel. So I'm going to have R1 in parallel with R2. Okay. And then that this would be the Thevenin equivalent circuit, or the Thevenin equivalent of the circuit inside that dashed box. Okay. Now that I have this, I can actually write the new equations. So based on this, I can say that, so let's write it again. V Thevenin is R2 over R1 plus R2 times VCC. R Thevenin is R1 in parallel with R2. And then based on this, I can say that Vx is equal to V Thevenin minus IB times R Thevenin. And I call this IB because it's the base current. And then I can say that IC is going to be IS exponential of, and then instead of VBE, I'm going to have the expression for Vx. So it is V Thevenin minus IB times R Thevenin divided by uh, Vt. Okay. Now, knowing that IB is also equal to IC divided by beta, I pretty much have everything. So V Thevenin is known. Uh, beta is known, R Thevenin is known, VT is known, and IS is known. So I can actually find the only unknown here is IC. Of course, this is an exponential kind of an equation, so you need to actually do a little bit of iterations to actually find it. It's not, uh, you cannot use hand analysis to actually precisely calculate the value. You have to start with some sort of an iteration method and uh, uh, some iteration system until you get the, the number. But then this is the idea. This is uh, how you analyze this resistive divider circuit when the IB cannot be ignored. And I mentioned the, uh, an example of when this happens. For example, uh, in the previous slide, when instead of 8 kilo ohm and 17 kilo ohm that we had as um, R2 and R1, respectively, uh, we would have had 80, 80 kilo ohms and 170 kilo ohms. In that case, we are going to have to, uh, the IB wouldn't, uh, the IB cannot be neglected, so we have to actually do this kind of analysis.